As the youngest uh, woman in Australian Parliament at the moment, do you believe your voice was silenced? Yes, in the last, I would say, six to seven months since 7th of October, I felt that the statements I wanted to put out were watered down. They were controlled. They, I was told where to go, when to go, what to say. So irrespective of social norms, trends or cultural practices, Islamic principles and prohibitions, especially those that are clearly mentioned in the Qur'an and unanimously agreed upon are final. We can argue and debate the benefits and harms of such an action for years on end. But the fact of the matter remains that we oppose such behaviour for the very fact that our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, opposed it. And this is the essence of what it means to be a Muslim. We can't truly say that we are a people of fairness and equality if we're going to, you know, cause disunity within the community by treating one different to another. Um, that's what breaks the fabric of our society. Mm. That's what is causing the social cohesion issues. And it all comes down to the very definition of Islam in and of itself, and that is submission. Islam, by its very essence, means to submit to whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordains for humanity. No ifs, no buts, no why, no how come, just complete utter submission and servitude to Allah. And that is what makes you a Muslim.